Uh, again, everybody, thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two as Art and I do Gray Matters. This is kind of our little helpful hints for the week, things to do, help make life easier, more enjoyable, more fun. And uh, speaking of fun, Art's got a, a good website to share with us to start with, right? Yeah, so uh, this week I was looking around and I found um, a, a, a games website. And, uh, you know, you've probably heard a, a dozen different times from a half a dozen different guests of ours that one of the things that keeps you sharp and going as we get older is to keep your mind active. And one of those things is playing games. And here's a great site. It's called pogo.com. And uh, I just was, was surfing through uh, uh, the Internet looking for uh, various games. And I ran across the site and... I actually played an entire game of Scrabble before I realized that I played an entire game of Scrabble. And it was a lot of fun. Really? Uh, yeah. Online, mind you. Uh, right. I didn't have to worry about anybody else. In fact, uh, let me uh, let me open this up a little bit and um, see if I can get this thing to play. So did who who did you end up playing with if you're on a, a your single phone player? Or... I played against the computer. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. So anyway, um, uh, I'm going to, I don't know what uh, number of opponents won, and uh, I'll, I'll go with the uh, regular, and so it's mixing the tiles, and um, it's going to give me a bunch of characters, okay? There you go. And, and it they starts off it. by typing rise. And then I'm going to, um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's just going to take, I'll just make an easy one here. A T and just so it, it keeps score, and then it gives me right. it refreshes mine. And it, it's a game of Scrabble, but you're playing against the computer. You don't well, have the to computer worry. is pretty fast at picking the words. Uh, yeah, it is, uh, uh, but it it's gives you time. Uh, and then you could do all sorts of things like fill in from, uh, you know, uh, if, if you had, uh, uh, let's say, uh, if T sat, let's say, if B sat was a word, and then you could make B R whatever in other words so, yeah. so in other words you well, can do all the things you can do on scrabble it's got triple word it's got double word it's got double yeah, letter it's the regular scrabble game regular yeah. scrabble game and quite frankly i spent about uh, 10 or 15 minutes playing the game uh i happened to win by a couple of points maybe they only did that to suck me in uh to, to registering <laughs> but you can play either free or you can play uh, for um uh, against the machine so anyway i had a well, lot of fun me, doing it uh, uh, Art, do me a favor. Yeah. Um, first, I have to agree with you. A lot of people think just the kids are on the computer with their thumbs, you know, their phones. Oh. But a lot of uh, older people uh, enjoy games on their phones as well. Who don't How many have, times have you been waiting at thumbs. a doctor's office? People who don't have thumbs, right? Yeah. <laughs> but um, there, there are other games on this website. Show us some of the other kinds yeah, of games. See if I can get have. home here, figure it out. Um... Let's see. Let me just go back to. I'll this is a back. great idea. This is, and all these games are free. They're they're free. There's a paid version because this has advertising. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. But, Everything has a paid version. Yeah. Right. And but it's not very expensive. But here's um, uh, let's see, uh, 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 Sol solitaire. Solitaire. And they've got uh, anagrams, which is a really kind they, of cool game. Okay, word games. So they got yep. category word games, mahjong yep. games. Yep. As a matter of fact, puzzle games. I actually, uh, my wife plays mahjong. I've never played it, but uh, uh, she and I and my uh, uh, sister and uh, brother-in-law actually went to a museum, someplace that they were talking about mahjong and other things, and we actually played a game. It's actually kind of enjoyable, and it, originally, apparently, it was a man's game. And yeah. so if you want to learn how to play it, but we're embarrassed to ask uh, uh, your wife or somebody who knows it and you don't know it, your girlfriend, and uh, it, it'd be a good way to, to learn it. But they have all sorts of different games here. That's um, great. 
Right. Large round, they have a, a variety of them, uh, including the traditional one. Monopoly, a Sudoku version of Monopoly. I don't know what that is. Um, and just all sorts of other games. So it's called pogo.com. We'll have the link down below. We'll just go to the internet and type in uh, online games. Uh, I know they have chess. They have backgammon. I used to play backgammon quite a bit uh, years ago. Uh, uh, although I had a regular uh, weekly uh, date to play with my cousin who unfortunately passed. But any kind of game you can think of, there is an online version of it. And yeah. it just keeps you sharp. And they're fun. And uh, rather than... And lots, lots of categories, bingo games, board games. That's great. It's great. a great website. And it's a change from watching stuff on Netflix or the Hallmark Channel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well... I, I think of all the doctor's offices I go to and I'm waiting there, you know, mm. no doctor. They want you to show up 15 minutes ahead of time to register the paperwork, right. but they don't take you until about 10 or 15 minutes after your appointment. So that's a half hour of gaming we could be doing. And also one thing that you haven't mentioned in the doctor's office, John, they no longer have magazines. You, they <laughs> took out the magazines because they, they, they spread disease or whatever, you know, is the new, is the new normal. So, uh, oh, I thought they took out the magazines because they're trying to save the, the uh, old wood forests or something. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. And, and anyway, anyway, what did you come up with uh, uh, this week, John? As always, Art, you and I are often at different ends of the spectrum. <laughs> oh, you mean I'm all running games and you're deadly serious? I was deadly, very accurate, deadly <laughs> serious. I was researching a bunch of things and came across a. A, a site in Britain, the UK, um, which answered my questions uh, and very simply, but it was a good site and it's still worthwhile, even though it's a UK site. It's about uh, preparing your will, not really a will per se, but preparing your life for death, for what do you need to have organized when you pass for people to find everything and organize your final wishes. And here it is, easy and affordable will writing from which, and I guess which is a British company that writes wills. Right. So I wouldn't recommend you use this website because it's British. Unless, uh, unless, unless of course, you're write your you live in London, then it might be a good site for you. Yeah. At any rate, go, do me a favor, scroll down and yeah. I, let me just show you what they've done. They give you ideas on finances, key contracts, keep going, digital legacy. I'm just going to read the categories. And by the way, stop, well, let's stop at the digital legacy because uh, you and I have, uh, did a series with uh, uh, a local uh, uh, guy who does uh, living trusts, and he really uh, put together a book for us that had most of these things. But it yeah. didn't have, this is a really kind of thing. If you haven't written down your passwords for, Facebook and Instagram and all those things. And yep. you want your heirs to be able to at least announce your passing or to close them down or to keep them up as some kind of a memorial for a while. This is yeah. an important thing to have because otherwise getting access to these is going to be almost impossible. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You never, they can't help you. Right. If you don't have it, the password, you, they can't help you. Right. Uh, keep going. Other arrangements. This is a good. I can't call it a comprehensive list of what you need to do, but it's a really good list. Uh, keep going down. Um, download your what do I do, what to do when I die organizer. That's essentially what they're offering mm -hmm. for free um, in hopes that you'll buy um, a, a will from them. Um, and there it is at the bottom. Download it for free. And that's the whole bottom line is um, as you get older, of course, people can die at any time, right? Um, you might die in a car accident in your 20s. But let's face it, after 50, death is pretty imminent. We don't know when, and you've got to be prepared. So you know, I like this, but I, I recommend it. John, I always like how optimistic uh, you are, okay? Uh, I know that, that you're probably correct. But as you know, I have a 25-year rolling plan. So it keeps moving out of here. Every year it just automatically moves out of here for me. So, yeah. but uh, so you don't well, care. You... It, it doesn't matter because eventually, okay, we're all going to need something like this. And just to have it all organized so that whoever has to pick up the pieces can find it and know that you've yeah. actually spent their inheritance. 
Yeah. Okay. And the yeah. only thing they have left is your social media accounts. <laughs> it's a good site well, to what get they, to. What they don't say on this website is that after you get everything organized, you need to put it in a place where somebody else can find it. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Make an attachment to your private cloud account. Okay. <laughs> but, and don't give them the password. It really yeah. drive them crazy. Just for fun. Anyway. Well, that's it. That's uh, Gray Matters for uh, this week. Hopefully those uh, two suggestions have helped you. One for fun, one for serious future purposes. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.